Hi, I'm Charles Boris. I do functional sculpture. I like to make something that can be useful, but also artistic and uh, pleasing aspects. My inspiration started back in college before I went back to school. Well, it started hiking in the woods with friends in between college years um, near the Finger Lakes region of upstate New York, between Binghamton and Ithaca, New York. Uh, nature just was screaming out at us all the time, and the beauty of the colors, mostly in fungus and then of uh, tree branches and colorings. Hiking along the beaches here in Northern California in San Francisco Bay, I'd find old pieces like this of old growth red, redwood and the beauty and the, the rich tones. And I said, you know, this would be good for something and not a wall slamming on a wall. But I decided to make benches to start off and then I would incorporate uh, solid pieces of old timber that had washed ashore but for years. And uh, I wanted to bring out the grain and the patterns. And he had to improvise the, the base, three three leg base, because it just wasn't enough to support four legs. So that worked out nice. And this piece I call uh, the new old bench. It's got new redwood and an old slab of redwood I found with all of the worm, worm holes in it that washed ashore and just nature did all the hard work. I just put it together. Process. Uh, it's English chestnut. Uh, it was all warped, but it had some really nice shape. It's all what called a waterfall edge because it's all it was all one straight piece, and I uh, mitered the corners so that I could drop it down. The grain pattern's beautiful, but it was so cut, wavy, and bent, and warped. And then someone had made a bad saw cut here, so instead of trying to patch it in exact in a machine shop sort of way, I had some nice African lace wood, and I did a nice angular inlay in there. And that came out nice. And see, it's all, the piece of wood was all non-usable for functional standard lumber or furniture. So I grabbed it. I said, I can make something nice out of this. And then I just did the design on the, the feet because there were knots in the wood, as you can see here. They had to go around the knots. I use a lot of different types of woods when I create something. Uh, sometimes I try to stay with just one solid uh, uh, type of wood, like an old growth redwood. In this piece, I've incorporated English chestnut and African lacewood. Uh, they take an average from 12 to 16 hours. But that's broken up over a couple of days because they're sanding and drying time, and I do some fancy cutting and reshaping. If I could meet any artist from any time period, the first on my list would be George Nakashima, a wonderful Japanese-American woodworker from the 50s and 60s. His stuff is so inspirational. His unique approach to standard furniture it just slays me. And for a fine art, if I could meet Mark Rothko, I love Rothko. Pure, simple, abstract, color relationship, he floors me. I find the best part about being an artist is the freedom to express. It, it, uh, for me, actually, I'm a very impatient person. I think I have some patience developing with woodwork. And I'm my own boss. And it's so great to watch a piece from conceptualization come to fruition through hard work and simple, basic tactics, you know, uh, woodworking skills.